country has been through a lot. But this is, this is a unique moment where all of America can take a, a moment and look at our country do something stunning again. And that is launch American astronauts on American rockets from American soil. Richard Southern joins us now. And Richard, I feel like any other time of year, this might be a top story. Uh, a new era in human space travel set to begin tomorrow. Yeah, I'm excited. I mean, this is really cool. SpaceX, you know, the company that Elon Musk dreamt up 20 years ago, is about to become the first private company ever to blast humans into space. And it's going to be these two guys. They're both NASA astronauts, Bob Beck and, and Doug Hurley. And the launch uh, from Kennedy Space Center set for 4.33 tomorrow afternoon. And so they're going to blast off. Janela, they're going to spend 19 hours in orbit. They can even use the onboard washroom in this Dragon crew capsule that SpaceX has. Then they're going to connect into the, the International Space Station, where they're going to spend anywhere from one to four months. So a successful launch tomorrow. Not only is it going to be history-making, Janela, but it's really going to open the door to all sorts of private commercial ventures. I mean, SpaceX, they're already selling tickets for, you know, you and I to go into space if we have the money to do it. Yeah. So it's really going to change the game. Are you excited for this, Janela? I was actually just going to ask you, if money wasn't an option, would you do this? Because, you know, you know what, I'm okay here on Earth. Yeah, I don't want to be on the first one like those two yeah. brave guys, but I'd sure love to go up at some point, Janella. Okay, returning to life here on Earth now, a Swiss court has handed down an interesting ruling, and it could set a precedent with all of us working from home. Really caught my eye. A Switzerland court today, Janella, ruled that your company must pay a part of your rent if you're required to work from home. Uh, the court in that country said uh, employees could even request uh, back rent if they've been working at home for a while. It said whether or not you had to rent an additional room or a larger apartment for work was irrelevant and that companies huh. should pay a portion. What do you think, Janella? Wow, that's interesting. I, I thought maybe the stipulation would only be if I had to retrofit my house, if I had to go and buy a desk, chair, equipment, maybe they'd have to cover the cost of that. I mean, we are saving money by not traveling into work. So it's interesting that they said that, that companies have to do that. Be interesting to see if they follow suit here, Janelle. All right. Thanks so much for joining us, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.